Falcons. Welcome to your favorite part of Friday, the Falcon Time News. Today is September 28th. My name is Riley. And my name is Michael. Students interested in the United States Naval Academy are invited to attend the Founders Day Dinner on October 10th in Tampa. You must register by October 5th, so act fast. We're going to send it over to Nico Callis with a special report from Mr. Mack. Mr. Mack? Uh, how do you think the transition from all the Ridgewood people coming here to 5A? I think it's gone rather well. Um, for myself, I know uh, I've, I've enjoyed coming over here and meeting the new faculty and, and uh, meeting the new students and uh, everybody's been very welcoming. It's been, it's been a delight, actually. So Mr. Mack, how long have you been uh, teaching? Well, I got into the game late, so to speak. I uh, started when I was 37 years old. I started at Ridgewood High School and I've been there for 21 years. This is actually my 22nd year teaching. And at Ridgewood I taught English for 15 years and then social studies for the last six. And this is my seventh year teaching social studies. And I also coached uh, boys varsity soccer for 15 years over at Ridgewood. So. Congratulations. Thanks. So I noticed you said you started late teaching. Uh, what were you doing before that? Well, prior to teaching, I was in business for a while, and prior to that, I, I spent seven years in the United States Marine Corps. Can't you tell by the shirt? <laughs> Thank you for your service. Thank you. So what was your craziest experience in the military? Well, I had the opportunity to attend uh, the United States Army Jungle Warfare School down in Panama in Central America, and they made us swim across a crocodile-infested river. So that was lots of fun. Sounds like a ton of fun. Nico? And this is Mr. McComiskey signing off for the Wingspan News. Thanks, Nico. Matt tutoring in room 3108 on Tuesdays and Thursdays right after school. Make sure you show up. Students interested in attending Harvard, Yale, Princeton, Wellesley College, or the University of Virginia are invited to attend an evening program for students and parents in Tampa on October 2nd. Go to www.hpuwy.com to register. Here are Nico Callis and Hunter Berger with a special swim report. I'm Nico here with the Wingspan News with Ms. Bodner, the swim team coach. Hello. So, as the coach, how excited are you for the season to start? Well, I'm very excited for the season to start. We were excited back on July 30th for the season to start on the first official date of the season. And then since every meet so far has been canceled due to lightning or postponed, we've not had an official meet yet. I'm very excited for the season to get started. So you said you guys haven't been able to compete yet because of the lightning delay. How do you feel about the team even though you guys haven't started yet? Usually at this point in the season, um, we're going from meet to meet and watching improvement, but no one has lost their spirit, everyone's practicing hard, and we're looking forward to a really exciting second half of our season because all of our meets are going to be one after another, and so we've seen marked improvement so far, and I see some records being broken this season. Sounds very exciting. So what are your expectations for the season? Well, every year we've gotten a little better, and last year we took four swimmers to regionals where they have to qualify to make it there individually and we're just hoping to improve upon that and again to see some records being broken and the joining of our teams we've got some great potential. Sounds good. This has been Nico and Coach Bodner with the Wingspan News signing off. I'm here with Kristen Hahn, captain of the swim team. Kristen, how does it feel to be a leader on the team this year? Yeah, it's an honor because I've been on the team 
there's no escape right now with the pool and anyone who can see. So, Kristen, what do you feel has gotten you to this point as a leader? Um, working hard, showing up to practice, doing my job. And what do you expect from your team this year? What do you guys look forward to? All right, Bryce, I'll ask you the same questions I asked Kristen. How does it feel being a leader on the team this year? Uh, it feels really good since my freshman year. I've kind of been looking to be captain this year, and now I finally got it, so it's kind of just good. So what do you feel got you to this point as a captain? Um, I don't really think I did anything like spectacular to get me to this point. I kind of just did what I usually do, just kept my head, let the team, like, not as captain. Set a good example, and then the coach saw that in me and chose me. So, what are your goals this year, both personally and as a team? Um, I want to drop my time down under a minute for my fly. Uh, I really want to do that this season, and then I want to make sure our team is as good as possible to get them all pushing themselves to do better. That's all we have for today. I'm Hunter. I'm Bryce. I'm Kristen. Signing off with Wingspan Sports. Seniors who have not met the graduation requirements for reading and or Algebra 1, please sign up in Student Services to take the School Day Non-College Reporting SAT. There are only 100 spots, so sign up now. See Ms. Martinovic or Mrs. Wade with any questions. The 5A Invitational Volleyball Tournament will take place today. Go Lady Falcons. Here's Amy Derner with a special report. This Friday and Saturday, there's a volleyball tournament here at 5A. 5A plays on Friday at 4, 5, and 6. $5 admission per day. Make sure to come out and support your Lady Falcons. Thank you, Amy. That was wonderful. The varsity football team travels to River Ridge today to take on the Knights. Let's all get out there and support our Falcons. Here is a wrestling video with Gabriel Santiago. All students, male and female alike, that are interested in the 2018-2019 wrestling program need to see Mr. Road in room 3119. Thank you, Gabriel. Now here is a sports recap with Hunter Berger. Alright, so this week in 5A Sports. Tuesday, we had golf play against Wiregrass Ranch High School. Man, that was a match, wasn't it? That's what I heard. We actually there was actually a fall baseball game that night, but is there? we had a couple players come from the match. I guess both players shot forty fives, missed a few putts that could have helped and got down. Wow. Into the high thirties, low forties, but they played to their potential according to Mr. Rick as the golf coach. Shout out to you guys. Good job. Where do you where do you go? Keep the practice up. Of course. And then Wednesday we had volleyball with a clean sweep over Wesley Chapel. That's a broom. We're get we're sweeping. That's a broom right there. We're coach sweeping, Pollock you know? says a bit of a sloppy start from them, but all all around a good finish. Came out with a three game three game sweep. Selena Belcher performed very good, moving to middle, handled the position very well. Way to go, Selena! Way to go! Keep it up. And then Friday, there was a loss from on Friday from the football team versus Zephyr Hills. Unfortunately, obviously. But a big comeback from last year, losing. Last year's score, do you remember? 60... 70 nothing? 70 nothing, 60 nothing. But no 36 disrespect, nothing. you know? No disrespect at all. You guys... I was there, personally. You guys really stepped it up this year. I thought you guys did fantastic. Of course. Just a little sloppy of a start. But hey, keep up the good work and we can finish off the season strong. You know, you almost took the words out of Coach Durchick's mouth. He said, tentative first half, they're a little nervous, a little sketchy. Second half, they came out a little bit more aggressive, more confidence. Finished the second half off good, kept the score the way it was. Of course, great minds think alike, so shout out Dirt Check. Had some highlights from Austin Blanford. He played good defense, and he played middle back. Javon, everybody knows Javon Wilson. He did great. Shout out Javon and Austin. Good job, guys. Keep up the good work. All right, I think that's all we have for 5A Sports this week. We'll get back to you next week. Here's our new staff spotlight with Master Sergeant Hodges and Master Null. Military background, I have 23 years of military experience right now. I transitioned uh, from enlisted to officer. Um, so I was, went through what they call as a VSEP program, Marine Enlisted Commission Acceptance Program. Um, so I went to college for three and a half years, got my degree, and then I became an air traffic control officer, command and control officer for the remaining 13 years. Uh, I really enjoyed it. I can't beat it here. I mean, uh, I've had open arms ever since I got here, from only not only from the administration, but all the teachers here as well. 
and including my counterpart, uh, Mass Iron Hodges, who's been phenomenal to work with. So uh, from that standpoint, I couldn't ask for a better deal. I just want to go ahead and make sure that they um, become better citizens um, for our future and become better leaders. So when they go out there, they can actually lead from the front and help others out um, in the courses that they want to go and direct them okay. uh, to success. I like their enthusiasm, um, their excitement uh, for the program, uh, but also just to a willingness to learn and to hear what we have to say and then take it full forth and just carry it on and do what we ask them to do. So it's really neat to see them grow throughout the program. Well, one of the things that we hope to achieve for the students in this program is um, their overall success. Um, making sure that they have the tools in their tool chest to go out and be better citizens upon graduation from high school. That's the ultimate goal of the program. This year closes year number 18 for me um, in the NJROTC business. The experience has been absolutely amazing. The journey has been amazing. Um, probably one of the keys to that is the watching of students to go from ninth grade to graduating senior and knowing they, again, have the tools to go out and be successful in whatever they choose. Um, my military background, I was in the United States Marine for 22 years. Um, and as I stated before, I'm now finishing year 18 um, in this business. And I did a plethora of things um, over the course of 22 years as a U.S. Marine. Well, that's it, Falcons. That's the Falcon Time News. I'm, I'm Riley Brooks. And I'm Michael. Have, Have a great, great day, day Falcons. Falcons.